I am going into this message that's been built up since 2004, five, six, yes. My friend, one of my best friends, um, King Jesus has been sharing this with me concerning AKA known as Queen B on how, you know, first he, he gave me access um, I was sitting at the same table with her and then it continues different episodes, different. It was, it's, it's a lot, but I'm going to keep it on a focus point. Okay. And so we sat on the same table and he brought me into the scripture of David, where David sinned against God when he took Uriah, which was a soldier's wife. He, she was very beautiful. He took the wife and then basically, um, you know, took the, the, the soldier off the planet and uh, the, the, the prophet was sent to him to say because of what you have done um there would be a sword in your house so basically the same body will be fighting one another okay and so but he the prophet was sent to let him know that the sin was forgiven grace was there even then grace didn't come yet which is jesus christ didn't come yet but god had forgiven him of the sin okay so i'm moving forward with the message and the way um my friend wants me to cry out loud you know and let it be known um so based on what he has revealed to his friend and he shared with me he said you know they, they, they caused her to go that way which she is where she is now okay it's something that that she was led to be and he he, he gave, gave his friend access to you know there's something in her leg one of them not both of the legs one of them um didn't pay attention which one but one it looked like the, this thing you put on prisoners like okay where you know where they go and where they are okay and then he he, he spoke to his friend and, and gave more information and said you know um these things flocking towards her you know <laughs> from Haiti the most famous uh, flock we got <laughs> it's the chicken and the rooster but this one wasn't though this one is more like we can say eagle right and landed in her yard Okay, and this thing was in front of her. For Jesus, the some principalities and powers, okay? And she was communicating back and forth with this thing, okay? And um, and so so my friend King Jesus let me know this is where she is, this is what she's dealing with. She's dealing with things that Jesus already nailed on the cross, you know. So she was led to do these things, you know. Um, you know, cause a lot of people, a lot of people pain, a lot of people had to cry, a lot of people went through a lot for what she's done, okay? Yeah, she is definitely a thief, taking things that don't belong to her and so forth, but still, it doesn't matter because um, John 17 let us know not one that he has given to Christ, his promise to Christ was he will not lose one. So body of Christ, instead of riffraffing, tearing her down, we need to be praying her her out okay because the the scripture let us know when one part of the body suffer the entire body suffers a lot of people are like, oh you know why did i see the miracles in the time of peter paul because um the people who have the money and the peter paul time when they had the money they shared it because they understand the ministry of the apostle the ministry of a prophet is a lot you have to know that word you have to study the word of God. And so those people who sat in those times, they invested in those people, men of God. They invested in them. They gave them money. They, they gave them everything they needed to live, to have a life, and then stick to the ministry of the word. That's why even in the, the book of an apostle, where it talked about that they needed to stop serving one of them needed to stop serving, but attend to the ministry of the word because the word is alive. It's through the word you get the all that you need in order to perform what you're called to. That's why some of those miracles, some of these things are not happening because some of the body of Christ, they still in the selfishness, some the jealousy, the envy, they want to be this, they want to be what they're not. They still stuck instead of helping the body of Christ because in that time, the apostles, all the people in the body, everybody, nobody had need. But right now in the body of Christ, a lot of people have need because the selfish people who got it are not going to give it. Or that should I say, let me take that back. They're not giving it right now, but they're going to give it. Um, they don't understand once they leave this planet, this thing is not holy enough to enter the kingdom of God. But that's probably a different video. But let's continue with the message with Queen B. Um, AKA you guys call her Queen B, right? Um, so she ended up in that space, you know, 
um, she was led to end up in that space. So now what we're going to do, are we going to, you know, we're going to just sit here, tear her down and do the riffraff. That's what the world is expecting us to do, but we're not going to do that. We're called to walk in unity. So when, uh, when you, when you have a discomfort in any part of your body, doesn't make you feel discomforted all over your body, such as such as the same situation. And then the thing with the riffraff she has going on, it's not only her that's in it. There's a whole lot of people. <laughs> There's a whole lot of Christ, Christian. <laughs> Part of it. Your girl, um, level up, level up. That's married to the um, football player guy. She's one of them, right? But that soon come though. But you know, she initiated a lot of the stuff. But the God says, you know, there's no secret that will not be revealed. He means it. That's what I love. That's why I love a very I love God. I love him. He 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 keep his word. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on with that. We really need to um you know, at times, at times I feel bad for her. When I tell you it hurts, it hurts. And I'm like literally spinning around and saying king jesus how can we get her out what we need to do like trying to find scriptures trying to find a way and the word and the righteousness of god how can we get her out we need to get her out because you know the way the king speak to me about her she's part of me i i have to say i've never met her in person i've seen her from far but never met her in person she, she's she's part of me so i've been spinning just trying to find where in the word okay body of christ Stop the riffraff, okay? You know, the word of God let us know greater he that is in us than, than he was in the world. And, you know, I've, I've literally tried to force a church to do the, the prescription of a king, to do worship for 40 days nonstop um, with praising the, the, the Psalms, specifically the Psalms of David, the ones who gives praise and heaven is going to move and do some supernatural deliverance they don't want to listen i i don't try to get so many they, they, they don't want to listen they they don't want to listen but um so that is what's going on so you know i i love my relationship with king jesus you know my best friend on how you know things are not always what it seems okay so let's pray for her Let's repent. I repent. I lose repent. You know, I'll tell you guys why I repent. I repent for a few things. Because sometimes I'm like, yep, that's what you get for doing. What, that's what you get for messing, you know, with, with God's plan and God's will and stuff. And then another part of me is like, I repent because the way they speak to, to me concerning her, it's so close. It's so real that I feel like maybe I should have spoken before. But the pool is coming to me today. Or Queen Bee, right? So I'm moving to AKA ex wife of Ye West, um, Kim. This, uh, like, um, King, the King gave me access. Um, the flames were coming for three of them, all of the sisters, including her, alive. Yeah. So, ladies, listen, you need to repent, okay? And also, um, the King also spoke to me about, you know, there's this Haitian lady <laughs> involved in this. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's, there's more than one, but there's specific. But um, where, you know, she was going into this um, submarine type stuff, you know. So she's dealing with the the water um, evil forces. And, um, yeah, that's how it is. It's, it, it's scheduled to come to her <laughs> flames. Okay, listen, um, you know, my king spoke to me about these flames before. And I did it on my bio which I'll put the link you guys can check out on how this whole story is going to end. It's going to be big bowls of fire hitting the earth. And that's how they're going to do it. So you guys have to understand that um, based on what my friend has told me, there's going to be things that people have never seen or heard before in the miracle departments and stuff. Because that's, that's, that's what they do. They keep their promises. Um, so meaning that when he promised in John 17, not one, he will not lose. He will not lose. Okay. So, you know, King, King David was bold. Okay. He was a man that God trusted and allowed to do great exploit. You know, a lot of 
what he what he did initially what he did a lot of the people who are more experienced than him who was you know experienced fighters warriors but when he had to face goliath it's king david that went forward he only had five five of sharp stones which represent five words <laughs> but god was with him and god saw his willingness and his boldness and he trusted god so god allowed him to go forward front to face that goliath because god does not look at the appearance of a man but he looks at the heart of men. All right. So basically what I am saying to you, body of Jesus Christ, stand up. Okay. Stop the, the riffraff. Stop the tearing down. Greater he that is in you than he was in the world. So whatever, aka known as Queen B is dealing it. What you got is stronger is better. You just got to unify yourself like we did back in our forefathers did, our great grandmothers did. They got together, become one unit, and they cause heaven to respond positively. Because if he has a promise, not one he will not lose. He's going to keep his promise. You have to understand, body of Christ, that this, this world is designed to want you to be divided because then King Jesus cannot come. But guess what? I'm going to tell you, though, he's coming. <laughs> he, though, he's, he's gotten so far, he's gotten enough of his real, real workers up that he is left to but one choice but to come. Y'all. Listen, those who belong to the body of Christ, I'm speaking about the real apostle, the real prophet, the real preachers, the real, the real need to stand up, the real need to be bold, the real need to pray for, aka, you guys call her Queen B. No, no, aka, ex wife for Year West. Both of you ladies need to repent. And they spoke to me about um, level up. Um, what they, what's the, the level up one? We talked about that. They talked about um, what's her name? When it's up and it's up. That one, I don't know about that one. They briefly talk about her. But one of the things that my friend told me, she's fully demon. I saw, they gave me no access to humanity on this one there. Like, watch your little girls. Watch your little young kids. Watch them watching all of this mess. If you are Christian, if you're not a Christian, this has no meaning to you because you're going to be like, oh, but if you're a Christian, this is what the kingdom of heaven wants you to have access to. Okay. We are at the last hour. This is where heaven is moving literally quickly. All right. This is the information you guys need to have. If you're Christ, if you belong to the kingdom of Jesus Christ, stop, stop it, stop it. Behave as a Christ will call to unity. Well, that was it for today. I think I covered it all. Oh, one more they want me to cover. The eye. Everybody's talking about this new eye. You see the eye of the riffraff everywhere. You see people got monuments. And you see big eye everywhere. First of all, the eye of God does not have duplication. Now, a foul demon from hell done inspired somebody about that eye. Yeah. The children of God experience a whole lot of riffraff here because we shine here at the kingdom through persecution, but he's as over, overcome all persecution. So do not be deceived. Yes, people are talking about they open their third eye and all. It's a spiritual thing that come upon people and then it go look into people's life and then it's, it's a deception. It's a mess. Stick to the word of God. Stick to the scriptures. The word of God has enough power to uproot, slay cut down and bring you to the truth kingdom of heaven is that all i need to speak on today yep that's it that's it you guys this is what it is get to your word get to your god and play your part if all you can do is help somebody to play their part do that stop being selfish jealous stop hiding stop being hey have stop being all of these things just step up and be a christ and call to conquer <laughs>